Channel 15 Live Doppler 15 Weather Center. Hey, good afternoon, everybody. Chief Meteorologist Jonathan Connor. Sorry to impose on your Judge Judy, but uh, we have a few thunderstorm and tornado warnings we have to talk about. So now our, our public service here goes to informing the people in Van Wert County that a tornado warning has been issued until 515. This is a radar indicated tornado warning, but nonetheless, if you live in Van Wert County, you're taking shelter. Now, I notice that we have a lot of tornado warnings. It looks like Williams, Defiance, Pauline, and far eastern Allen County. I'm going to talk about those in just a minute. But the newest tornado warning is for this storm here, now moving into western Van Wert County in Ohio. So if you're in Van Wert right now, you're taking your tornado precautions. Storm movement, it's slowed down a little bit for our Van Wert storm. It's moving at about 35, uh, 35 miles an hour. And again, it, that's why the tornado warning has been issued uh, for Van Wert County. It looks like they just expired the tornado warning for Allen County. Allen County, you're in the clear. Van Wert County, we're looking for shelter right now and it's this area right in here that we're tracking the potential area for a tornado spin up and this uh, looks like it's very close to the tornado that we had on monday near ohio city so it looks like the ohio city area uh you're under the gun again for a tornado warning so again we're taking our, our tornado uh, precautions here so a little bit closer view i want to show you what we're looking at here i'm going to show you specifically where we're looking for uh, the tornado to be. I'm going to show you a product. What you're looking at right here on the radar, uh, all those reds, this is shows you the intensity of the storm. So this is a leading edge right here, and this is where probably the uh, hail core is, uh, just about a mile south of 224, uh, right on the uh, county line, the Adams and the Van Wert County line. That's the hail core, but it looks like the area rotation is going to be right on the leading edge from Convoy, a few miles to the southwest of Van Wert, and we'll get a little more specific here. So what I'm doing here, I'm using one of our products here. Yeah, and it looks like right about here, uh, this is what we call gate-to-gate -gate shear or rotation couplet. The winds along the leading edge of the storm are moving that way and this way, and that right there looks like where I would put uh, the actual tornado, and it's moving to the northeast at about 35 miles an hour. So a little bit closer look where we think that the tornado may be. It's going to be near uh, basically between Ohio City and Wren and near about the city of uh, Glenmore. So if you're in Glenmore right now, you're taking your tornado precautions. You're getting into your tornado safe spot, and I'll put estimated time of arrival for Van Wert, what time we think that this uh, area of rotation and possibly tornadic winds can be moving into the Van Wert area. Again, movement to the northeast at about 35 miles an hour. It's going to be in convoy at uh, 454. So we have about a uh, about 14 minutes here for you to get into your safe spot before you have the tornadic winds come in. You have a Van Wert coming in at 456, Middle Point at 508, Scott 508, and a Havland coming in at 512. So if you're in the path of this storm, you're definitely uh, seeking shelter. You're getting to your safe spot. If, if you don't have a basement, you're going to go to the most internal part of your home away from windows. If you have a bathroom, which is in the inside of your house that doesn't have an exterior wall, that's a good place to go. Get in the tub. That should uh, provide uh, a safe shelter for you. Underneath the staircase is a good place to go. If you're out towards Van Wert, Ohio City, uh, if you live in a mobile home, that is not a safe place to try to uh, ride, ride out a potential, uh, a potential tornado. Again, tornado warning continues for Van Wert County until 515 and we have some other storms that we need to talk about that have a history of producing some rotation i'm going to show you the other tornado warnings right now uh, across the area uh, this area right here uh, we had a tornado warning for eastern allen county but i'm telling you allen county if you live in woodburn new haven monroeville it looks like you're out of the risk for a potential uh, tornado and throw the radar back on here. We'll kind of look where there's any rotation. And I really don't see a lot. This is the other tornado warning that we had until 5 o'clock for Paulding County, Defiance County, up towards southeastern Williams County. It's this area right here that is a radar indicated tornado warning for that area, mainly from about Hicksville and Antwerp and places to the northeast, putting an estimated time of arrival for that storm as it moves to the northeast at about 35 miles an hour. It's going to probably pass just to the north of Defiance, at least that area of rotation. So Hicksville, about 454, about five minutes, that possible rotation come in there. Sherwood coming in at 457, May coming in at about 506. So again, two storms right on the Ohio-Indiana County line that we're watching that have potential 
uh, tornadic rotation. Uh, besides that, we're going to also be seeing torrential downpours. So if you live in this area after the storms go through and you want to go out and about, you need to be watching for ponding over the roadways and uh, localized flash flooding. That's going to be a bit of a problem. If you see flooding over the road, uh, uh, turn around, don't drown. That's the motto the National Weather Service uses. And uh, it looks like now they issued a, a new uh, thunderstorm warning for uh, Mercer County. That's outside of our, our Wayne viewing area. Again, Tornado warning continues for Van Wert County until uh, 5.15 on this Wednesday afternoon. And it does look like the storm is coming up a little bit in intensity. The storm's getting a little bit taller when I'm looking at the radar product here. It's getting a little bit stronger, but I take a look at what we're looking at for rotation. And also we have uh, meteorologist Nicholas uh, Ferreri and the Leanne Oakley. And have you guys seen any actual confirmed reports coming in yet? Just a yes or no. No. So no reports. So they're monitoring the scanner traffic right now. Now this storm has moved pretty fast. I'm going to show you. This is a new update as a, the radar beam comes around. That right there, south of Van Wert, in Ohio City. This is literally five miles north of where we had that tornado on Monday. And this is just the little little signature that we're seeing on radar that would indicate that there would be a tornado. Let me kind of point out to you the, the radar to the northwest. I'm going to show you what the winds are doing here. The greens are moving towards the radar. The reds are moving away. And that right there is the area of rotation that we're looking for the, for the potential tornado. Now, Gilmore, Middlebury, I, I don't think you're seeing a lot in the way of tornadic winds. You could have winds up to about 60 miles an hour, but it looks like that area of rotation is going to be uh, right over, uh, and we'll do a measurement here to give you an exact location where we think it is, that potential tornado about three miles north of Ohio City. And it looks like with the current storm movement, it's coming right into Van Wert. So it looks like it's about, the actual area of rotation is about four and a half miles to five miles from the downtown area of Van Wert. So Van Wert, this is the time. I, I, this is, you're seeking shelter right now as this uh, tornado warning comes in. Even though it's Doppler radar, radar indicated, nonetheless, we're seeing a good signature there of a potential tornado as it moves into the Van Wert area. So if you're in Van Wert, you're taking your tornado precautions. Now that's the most recent weather information, and I think that's about the, uh, the do they allow the warning, Nicholas, do they allow the warning to expire for Eastern Allen County, looks like? I think they let that warning expire because there's no rotation indicated on, on that storm on that storm right now. But again, it, as I'm watching this even more, and watching this unfold, this is kind of like trying to balance live severe weather coverage while looking at the radar. It looks like this little couplet that we're tracking here, again, four miles north of Ohio City, five miles southwest of Van Wert, is getting a little bit more defined. So as I'm watching this in the real, real time, looks like that area rotation is coming up just a little bit. Is there a tornado there? There could be. Radar indicated that. This signature that we're seeing on Doppler radar, though, it, I'm not trying to downplay this by any means. I know yesterday we saw a huge tornado outbreak uh, across parts of Oklahoma and Kansas. They had some very large tornadoes. If this storm was putting out a tornado, it probably would be well, on the threshold of tornadoes. It'd probably be on the lower end, maybe EF1 uh, tornado. So winds may be up to about 100, 110 miles an hour, and the tornado would be probably less than about a half mile wide, uh, probably more like about 100 to 200 yards wide. That's all the bigger that actual tornado would be as it moves into Van Wert County. Again, the, that area rotation still looking pretty good. Um, we get a little bit closer here, kind of give you an idea of uh, uh, the, the area that it, it's uh, coming into. We can kind of do an idea on, on some of this, the streets here as it's uh, coming in. Here we go. So it's about right, it's about four mi uh, three miles to the west of Highway 127, and there's the bend uh, coming into uh, the Van Wert of 224. So there's a bend 224, 127, that right there in between those two highways and about three miles southwest of, southwest of Van Wert, that's the area. And again, that couplet that we're, we're, we're tracking on radar, uh, that one is, uh, okay, there's a live beam sweep just coming around here. Looks like the storm has come down a little bit in rotation, but you can see there's some really deep reds in here. So if you're in Van Wert, Besides getting potential little uh, the tornadic winds coming through, you're also going to have maybe some damaging winds produced by another part of the thunderstorm. So winds up to 60 miles an hour will certainly possible and hail up to about the size of at least uh, 
uh, one inch in diameter the size of quarters. Now that's the most recent weather information I have right now. What we're going to do, we're going to take a break. I'm going to send you back to regular programming. We're going to check in with our storm spotters in the field and see if they have a confirmed tornado. But now I'll turn you back to Judge Judy. This has been a severe weather alert from the News Channel 15 Live Doppler 15 Weather Center. We now return you to regularly scheduled programming.